Hey guys, welcome back to Eric Reactions with more Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged series. This one is episode 22, Shine On, You Crazy Devlin. Uh, I don't know what that means, but uh, before we start get started, I wanted to touch on something you guys have been leaving in the comments about how, uh, about how I hate those sexist and, after last episode, trans misogynistic jokes. Um, you're saying that little Karibo is making fun of how four kids, I think it's called four kids, uh, did the original translation and how they were objectifying my and making sexist sexist comments, I guess. And I I understand where you guys are coming from. I definitely do. Um, I'm still never gonna be a fan of the jokes that he makes, just because there's two different ways you can look at Little Karibo's um, actions. The first is you look at his motivations. He's trying to. I think he's trying to prove a point. Uh, based on what you guys said, he's trying to prove a point that uh, these sexist, mis misogynistic jokes are not okay, and he's trying to show that four kids did it in a way that's offensive and whatever. And if you look at his, just his motivations, they're okay. They they make sense. He's doing the right thing. But if you look at it objectively, what he's doing, the results of what he's doing, he's making sexist and transmisogynistic jokes and profiting off of it through his through ads, uh, the ads on YouTube. So I mean, so which way do you look at it? Which way is is he? Do you look at the end result or do you look at his motivations? Because it's it's hard to figure out what exactly is right. But uh, personally, I think there is enough content out there that is just horrible, like mean, and targets these disenfranchised people or these um, like targets women, targets trans people and uh, targets certain racists, certain races, and I think there's enough out there, and uh, any more out there doesn't add to the conversation, doesn't help them in any way. So uh, I, will, I won't be a fan of those in the future. Luckily, there's still a lot to like about this show. There's a lot of good comedy, and um, yeah, I, I, I'm still gonna point it out whenever it happens, though, when something is offensive, just because I'm not a fan of it. But I do understand where you guys are coming from. I don't think there's anything wrong with uh, your point of view. It's just my personal take. Um, I think that's all I wanted to say about that. Uh, yeah, just... Yeah, I get where you guys are coming from, definitely. But yeah, let's get into episode 22. Last episode, what happened? Uh, right, they went to the video game world and Mokuba saved Kaiba, I think, and Kaiba like, took credit for it. It was a weird episode, but... Uh, let's get into the next one. I don't know what the title means, but we'll see. Let's get into it, yeah. Warning, this episode contains copious amounts of Duke Devlin. Women with heart conditions are advised not to look directly at Duke Devlin. This also applies to women without heart conditions. He's very pretty. See? See how pretty he is? He's hmm. very pretty. I'd like to run my fingers through his hair, <laughs> and I'm just a voice. Anyway, without further ado, enjoy your crappy anime cartoon. <laughs> I don't think he's that pretty, but he's got style. Like, the way he dresses. I need to learn. I'm like a typical straight man who doesn't know how to dress it. Anyway. I'm going to school now, Gramps. If this porch isn't clean by the time I get back, I'll tell my parents you've been abusing me. Hey, Yugi. Slot. Wow. I mean, Taya. What's wrong with your grandpa? Is he dying? Tell me he's dying. You know, Taya, we could kill him right now and nobody would have to know about it. Really? Hello, I'm down here now, and I'm very angry for reasons I'm about to explain. Ta-da! That new game shop is stealing all my customers. Oh, no. You have customers? Wow, a super special awesome new game shop. I believe that there is a slight possibility that I may be interested in checking it out. Do it and you die! If you don't <laughs> eat your meat, you can't have any pudding! How come we never do any schoolwork anyway? It makes you wonder why we even bother coming here. Hey, did you That's guys true. hear about that new student? They say he's the sexiest thing since sex. Nah, sex isn't that sexy. Joey, what? what sex? Well, Tristan, oh when a man and a woman love each other very much... Joey, no! We mustn't let Tristan breed! <laughs> Thanks, Taya. <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> huh? Okay, that was pretty hey, good. Where's that music coming from? 
Keep your eyes on me, ladies. Cheap parlor tricks are extremely erotic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's so smexy. His cup is so big. It's wow. magic. He must be a witch. I couldn't help a but witch. notice you guys are Jesus. drooling over me as if I'm some kind of sex object. Humana, humana, humana. I'm Duke oh Devlin. God. I own the new game shop. You can own my body, too, if you want. Burn Whoa. the witch. You must be Yugi. My fangirls have told me all about you. They say you're almost as pretty as me. Hey, Dice uh, Boy, no. what do they say about me? Point, point. They say you're a loser with a fetish for dressing up like animals. I am not a loser, and I'll prove Second it by part. challenging part you true, to a guess. children's card game. I accept, but if I win, then you have to be my slave. Lucky Whoa, bastard. What? And if I win, then Yikes. you have to close your game shop. Joey, don't you think that's a little extreme? You can't put somebody out of business just because you're jealous. I'm not jealous. What does <laughs> he have that I don't have, aside from the fangirls? and the pretty hair, and those gorgeous green eyes. Don't forget my sweet ass. Yeah, and a sweet ass, but other than that, he's got nothing. Bow, chicka, bow, bow. Oh Burn God, the you. witch. Here we are at the game shop. Once I win this card <laughs> game, Duke Devlin will be out of a job and he'll be forced to live on the street. <laughs> what a heroic thing to do. Clearly, he is a role model for children everywhere. Welcome to the Duke yeah, no. Devlin Lovenasium. I hope you don't mind, but I took the liberty of inviting my fangirls to watch our duel. Oh, Dookie, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blew my mind. Hey, Dookie. Hey, Dookie. It's true what they oh, say. Dookie, fangirls so fine, ruin so fine, everything. Burn the witch. Hey, Dookie! Isn't anybody gonna notice that I'm not wearing my school uniform? I summon the extremely phallic spaceship, but since it belongs to me, it grows to twice its usual size. Duke Devlin always rises to the occasion, baby. Gradius, totally attack his life points. Me! Joey yeah. Wheeler lost the bet. Duke Devlin makes our panties wet. Since you wow. lost, you have to do whatever I want. Put it on. This is slightly more humiliating oh than playing a children's card game. Duke Devlin, you've gone too far. How dare you force Joey to uphold his end of the bargain? I challenge <laughs> you to a game. And if I win, then Joey is no longer your slave. Fine by me. But if you lose, then you must swear on the life of your grandfather oh, that you'll never play card games ever again. Whoa. Big deal. He'll be end dead of the by show. the end of the month. We'll play Dungeon Dice Monsters, a what? game of my own creation. Creation. We each Dungeon take it in dice turns monsters. to draw a dice. So it's just like huh. dual monsters. Then we use our dice to summon holographic monsters to the field. So it's just like dual monsters. <laughs> Both opponents are given three hard points, and when they run out, the game is. So it's just like dual monsters. Hey, stop it! My <laughs> game is nothing like dual monsters. So like then. dual monsters. My game uses dice. Burn the witch! As per usual, I have no idea oh where I God. am. I wonder what's going on over there. Hmm? Whoa, Nelly! Yes, yes, work oh it, God. baby. Grandpa likes it like that. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. <laughs> Come on, Yug. You can do it. Shut up, or we'll have you spayed. That's right. I've waited a long time for this moment, Yugi. I'm gonna prove to the world that you're a cheater by beating you in a game of my own creation. Um, you wanna run that by me one more time? <laughs> There's like <laughs> run no run. way you could've beaten Pegasus without cheating. He was my idol. I've tried my whole life to be just as masculine as he is. That would explain a lot. I visited him before the Duelist Kingdom oh, tournament to demonstrate my game. He was totally awesome. It was like he'd played Dungeon Dice Monsters his whole life. That's probably because he had. Your game is exactly like Duel Monsters. Congratulations, Dookie Boy. This Dookie is just boy. what I've been looking for. Dungeon Dice Monsters will make my card game look exciting by comparison. I'll begin funding you immediately. Dungeon Dice Monsters was set to take the world by storm, but then you defeated Pegasus in a children's card game, and he dropped off the face of the earth. You must have cheated. It's the only explanation. Or maybe Pegasus just realized your game sucks ass. Go, Dark Magician. Destroy his life. Uh, I mean, heart points. He's back and he's got a new trick. Magical Trevor is ten times as slick as the last time. The last time you saw him. Now you can see why we really adore him. You 
Is that won. the first one? His grandpa oh, all would be so proud. Hey, go back to the dancing girls. Man, Duke, I can't believe you actually thought Man. that crappy little dice game would sell. Yeah, it was just a carbon copy of Duel Monsters. You'd have to be as blind as my sister to not notice the similarities. Wow. This is going straight up my nose. I'm not even oh sure God, how Tristan. I got here. Duke, did I ever mention that my nipples can supply power to a third world country? I owe what? you guys an apology. I treated you all like crap. Do you think we can still be friends in season two? Only if you stop using that annoying theme music. What theme music? Oh, that was hilarious. How can you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? Is that an innuendo? I think it's an innuendo. He must be a witch. He turned me into a newt. What? I got better. What? Okay, Tristan. All right. Uh, let's look for a good scene to end this on. Hmm. That handsome jawline. Those deep green eyes. <laughs> All right. So yeah, this episode was pretty good. I liked it a lot. Actually, yeah, I think the last, um, maybe the last, starting the last five episodes, or maybe six, who have been all, like, just hilarious, and I'm really enjoying them. So yeah, Duke Devlin, <laughs> his theme music is, get, like, bringing sexy back, and it just plays whenever, almost whenever he's talking. I hope they, I hope it kind of stops, but it's also really funny for, it's really funny for one episode, but it's going to get old if he keeps doing it. So, um... Yeah, I think there those jokes about killing <laughs> Solomon. Um, I think that's his name, right? Solomon. Uh, <laughs> you almost taught Tristan how to breed. We can't have him extending his bloodline. And dice monsters. You know, I kind of remember hearing about dice monsters, but I don't think it ever became a thing. I guess mostly because... Who wants to carry dice around all the time while playing cards? Or like, I'm, I'm actually, I'm not actually interested in watching the real TV show, but I'm kind of, I kind of want to play. Uh, I don't want to spend any money though. I hope there's like an online simulation where you can like use fake decks and, or like not fake decks, but where you can use like simulated decks to play some Yu-Gi-Oh games, play a children's card game, <laughs> and I don't know. He's for an anime character, he's got some style. Uh, I can't pull off that headband. Or, I could try, but I don't have one. And... Joey loses spectacularly at Duel Monsters. Kea is so hot for him. <laughs> I thought she was in love with Yami. Okay, it's okay, it's okay for some people to lust after more than one person. It's not like her and Yami or Yugi are together in any way. The phallic joke. All right, and Joey is in a dog suit, but we all know he likes it, so it's fine. Uh, well, the the slavery part is not, but he likes being in a dog suit. And yeah, I'm interested in the rules. For once, I'm actually interested in the rules of the game and not just like how ridiculous this show is. Uh, <laughs> Grandpa's lusting after teenage women, teenage girls. That's not okay. Uh, just realized that. And what else happened? Pegasus beat him at his own game. Does that mean Pegasus can look at any game and like instantly become a master of it because of the Millennium Eye? Or is he doing? Is he winning? Did he win because he could read Devlin's mind with the eye? I don't know. Unclear. And Yugi wins. And there are dice monsters. <laughs> Alright, this episode is pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm excited to find out what happens next, as always. And I don't know how often these episodes come out now. I know the show is still running, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I really can't wait for, their, for more. And I, I'm kind of dreading... Luckily, we're, there's still like maybe like 50-something episodes, I think. So we have a long way to go, but I'm not looking forward to finishing it and not having... Like, I want to be able to laugh at this for a very long time. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, friends.